Greetings, friends. Steven here, and welcome. Welcome back. It's been, well, who knows, months, years, it's been a while. But welcome back to Gamer Hall. This is my very own video games and more pickup series, of course, for the Catmex Gaming YouTube channel. This is episode 49. It is Tuesday night, February 20th. And guys, I've missed you. Like, I tweet a lot. I talk to the internet via Twitter a lot. But at the same time, like, the YouTube channel has always been in the back of my mind. And I always want to do videos, and I just don't. So I said, nope, shutting off the social medias. I'm just going to do some goddamn videos. We're going to talk about some toys. We're going to talk about some games. And I actually have some games to show off, which is important. Because one of the reasons why I stopped doing this is just because it's been so tricky to find. Uh, be it retro games or used games at thrift stores or whatever. Like, the town is... Getting wise to this sweet racket we've got, and it's been tricky. But I've got a few things here. Um, games, some movies, uh, toys, and a couple fresh pickups from the internet. So let's get going. Our backdrop item today is THF03. This is Dynastron, Lord of Chaos, a.k.a. Uh, G1 style masterpiece Megatron from the Transformers. Uh, if you guys have been watching my toy cast, you'll know that I'm big on toys these days. And this is a big toy. This dude's like a hundred bucks. What was it, like a hundred, hundred, ten? Say a hundred and ten Canadian. Uh, this is not actually a legit, like, Hasbro Takara product, but it is basically their design. And they kind of improved upon it because nowadays it's the craziest thing, but these knockoff uh, brands tend to be better than the original. As you can see up here real close, his chest is actually a different plate. This doesn't actually come with the original one. See, that's like the original toy, which is like a, a little, like a, it's like a gun graphic. And of course, he does still transform into a gun. Comes with like a, uh, oh no, here we go. There we go. He comes with like a special faceplate that the old one didn't come with. His gun makes more sounds. That's pretty cool. Flip this switch. Good fun. Uh, definitely a sweet figure if you are serious about the uh, Transformers scene. As I mentioned, of course, feel free to check out those toy casts if anyone knew you record them. It's uh, I know, it's always, who knows if or when we'll record anything anymore, but, uh, well, you know, busy adult lifestyle and all that. But uh, definitely, if you like and are serious about toy collecting, like, mm, very cool toy. Uh, so, let's just get right into it. Um, next up... Picked this up a while ago from Amazon because I've been wanting to get back into the fighting games on my PS4. This is Hori's Fighting Commander. As you can see, it's a uh, kind of Super Nintendo style controller with the uh, old school D-pad here. And the six face buttons. And you got like light, medium, heavy punch, etc. Kick. Couple up here. Uh, I believe you can use this on uh, PS4, the PS3, or the PC. And uh, yeah, it works pretty good. I like it. I uh, got that from Amazon. I want to say it was like, well, I don't know, it's been a minute now. Uh, 45, 50 bucks maybe? Canadian? Who knows? Something like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, actually, take a look at in a moment at some of the games I used on it. Like, I used it on King of Fighters 14, which is, I think that's the number it is now. That's on the PS4. I have that digitally. And yeah, with this thing, I beat the game pretty, uh, pretty handily. We'll leave that there. I would recommend that if you were looking for uh, a, a um, definitely a fighting game uh, focused controller. It's a pretty neat one right there. Uh, next up, uh, these are the only retro games I really have to show because, as I mentioned, there's really not a whole lot out there these days. Um, but I was at the local Value Village, and wouldn't you know it? They actually, I was there at the exact time, and I guess they just put them out. No one else wanted them, but actually had some. So, so decent games at uh, pretty reasonable prices, at least for them. So, uh, Electronic Arts Road Rash 2 for the uh, Sega Genesis 499 sticker there. Unfortunately, they put the sticker on the sticker, so that kind of sucks. Otherwise, cards in pretty good shape. Uh, the dude we need now more than ever, Captain Planet and the Planeteers. The power is yours. 
Once again, four ninety nine sticker price. I have not played this game. Oh, this sounds familiar. We'll hopefully get around to it at some point. We'll see in a moment. Uh, the game I have been playing a whole lot of. Uh, but first, uh, Bandai's Ninja Kid four ninety nine. One of the more uncommon games here. I haven't played it. Don't know. I think maybe I've played it. Is it like a Judge Maru game? spot the video game this is a weird one it's more like a puzzle board game it's like go kind of you know that yeah. 499 sticker base these i picked up a while ago i've already mentioned them on a couple other uh podcasts and recordings and uh dead east battle chess for 499 let's check out that cover art there it's fun what is she wearing what is it's like uh like a sexy mrs claus outfit kind of I dig it. Data East, yeah. Four ninety nine. So that was neat. They had more, but uh, these were the only ones that I didn't have and uh, were appealing to me. Um, hold on, I've got one more uh, retro game pickup, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, yeah, I just remembered I picked this up uh, more recently than those. This is for the original Game Boy Cool Ball by Takara. Now, this is neat because this was $3. Apparently, this game sells for like 40 bucks though. I played it. It's It's got cool music. The game itself is nothing special, but I don't know. I guess resellers, man. I don't know what those people are thinking, but there you go. Extra retro game. Uh, but I got to admit, most of my gaming has been modern lately. I'm getting a lot of use out of my PS4, and that's because of this game right here. I had to show it. PS4 Monster Hunter World. As you guys may recall, I'm a big Monster Hunter fan. Uh, I don't know if I'd say it's better than Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate on the Wii U just yet, because it still has a very Season 1 kind of feel to it. Like, you can tell there's tons of updates and new monsters are going to add and more collaborations and all that. Like, as you can see here, Horizon Zero Dawn content. Like, uh, in the game you get a little, like, a little cat buddy helper. And uh, you can get a costume that turns him into, like, a robot from Horizon Zero Dawn, which is pretty fun. More recently, they did an update where you can make your hunter look like Ryu from Street Fighter. And we'll get to Street Fighter in a moment. But, uh, you know, just fun little... Uh, they, they do special quests, and you can get those funny outfits. And, uh, yeah, great game. Uh, if you want, like, an excellent co-op game to play, it's uh, on the PS4 or the Xbox One, eventually on the PC. And, yeah, like, I... I would be shocked if there was another game that was going to be my game of the year for uh, 2018. Monster Hunter World. Hell yeah, we've been waiting for this for ages. Like I said, the last one on consoles was on the Wii U, and that's that's a good game. Don't get me wrong, but man, it's been a long wait between that and this. That right there. Next up. Hmm. Okay, so Shadow of the Colossus, I like to call it uh, Shadow of the Colossus Deluxe for the PS4. Um... I hate to admit it, but as I was playing this, I was like, you know what? I'm sure of it now. Breath of the Wild is a better game. <laughs> like this excellent game, timeless classic. If you haven't played it, definitely pick it up on now on the PS4. But mm, I don't know, those controls, they I swear they changed them around the default controls in every time, like the PS2 version, the PS3 version, now the PS4 version, the controls I they they switch them up. I'm sure you can switch them back and I don't know, it's weird. Uh, you go from like X and R2, it's like jump, grab, jump, grab, X, R2, X, R2. Triangle is horse. So I'm, I'm, I was playing the game on stream over at Twitch. CamX underscore gaming, all one word, check it out. And uh, yeah, I wasn't having the best time, admittedly. It, was, it looks great. I mean, if you haven't played it, like definitely check it out. But mm, yeah. And for whatever reason, I could not find anywhere in Canada the uh, collector's edition. So I'd get this basic edition. Ew. Like, there's no manual in there. It's just, you know, might as well buy it digitally, I guess. But, you know, if you want to have the thing on the, uh, if you want to have the, the disc on your shelf, I mean, hey, there you go. It's no Monster Hunter World, though, and it's definitely no uh, Breath of the Wild, either. A game I definitely, in the past, have uh, been quoted as saying was the best game ever. Um, they did those recent updates, the DLC pack one and two, and those are okay. They aren't, I've said this before on other, like I said, on other uh, recordings or whatever, but they weren't, I don't think those 
Zelda DLC packs were done so much by the the A team, so much as they were done by the B team. But they're all right. Like if you just want a new reason to play more Breath of the Wild, that's definitely something to check out. And finally, the last game. That's not true, actually. But uh, the last game we've got in this pile is a uh, Street Fighter V Arcade Edition. Now they did something sneaky here because it it was marketed as being like you now have all the characters from season one and two in one disc. But the truth is, all they did was give you the exact same discs they sold originally and gave you a code for those season characters. So the disc looks different. It has this image on it. But, uh, yeah. Like, if you buy this used, like, be careful because you're probably not going to get that code with it. And it'll still just be basic season one characters on it. So, disclaimer for that. But otherwise, you know, Street Fighter V. Um, it's because I have this that I was able to get that Ryu costume in Monster Hunter World. Uh, it's okay. But as I said, this is where all my time is going. Yeah, Monster Hunter World. Yeah. Alright, um, next up, this is fun. Uh, we have our local Dollar Chain, Dollarama. And they get some neat stuff in from time to time. It's Each store is different, dude. You never know what they'll get. Um, I was at one, not the closer one, but one of the ones further away. And they had Blu-rays. So I'm like, alright, I'll buy some random Blu-rays for three bucks each. Such as... Narcopolis. This is the only one of these three I haven't watched it. As you can see, it's still sealed. But three bucks. I mean, hey, I'll give her a go. Kind of has like a Blade Runner vibe going there. It's like future sci-fi something something. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I have no review for you, but I look forward to checking it out. Yeah, uh, just get some use out of all this screen space we have. This there. This. This. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, next up, a Rio 2. I don't know if Rio really needed a sequel, but if you like colorful birds and tropical jungles, hey, there you go. Uh, the movie was fine, not great. Uh, the only thing I really enjoyed was, see right here where my thumb is, there's this little tree frog girl. She was the best thing in the movie, I think. Where's my, uh, my pointy stylus here? Yeah, right here. That's the best character, I thought. The rest, you know, it's just like birds. We're checking out where our family lives in the deep jungle. Oh, you're not, you're city birds. You're not jungle birds. You know, typical CG, blah, blah, blah. But three bucks. Pretty decent for that price. And it's always nice to add to, to the Blu-ray collection. And finally, a really weird movie. I don't even know if I like it yet, but I guess I would recommend it. Uh, it's British movie High Rise. Apparently it's based on a book uh, from the acclaimed novel by J.G. Ballard. Hmm. Uh, it's about this... Well, what's about a high rise? Spoiler. Uh, where, for whatever reason, um, it's like a new building. You know, like the rich people live at the... The top floors of the uh, working class live lower down. You know, typical, typical like, uh, I guess, condo. I guess there were condos. Uh, but for whatever reason, things just start, like, there's, like, glitches and errors. The power goes out and the garbage gets jammed in the uh, garbage disposal and all that stuff. And the whole building just goes to shit, basically. And for whatever reason, they don't leave the building. It's kind of like, if it's that bad, you could leave the building. But they don't. And it just becomes, like... It's like everyone becomes survival of the fittest. You're, it's like I'm gonna kill those people because they're not from our floor. And it's like Lord of the Flies suddenly. And it's I don't understand why it uh, escalates like that because they could leave. But I don't know. Weird British movie. What can you say? Uh, next up, uh, the only thrift bot I have uh, that is what is that? G1 nose cone. Just got that out of a baggie from uh, once again the Valley Village there. He's in pretty decent shape. His robot mode isn't worth even looking at. It's basic, basic early combiner form, but uh, you know, a little drill tank thing's kind of cool. Still has his little uh, rub sign there. Still has some stickers on him. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. That was a couple bucks, you know. And uh, next up we've got uh, this. Is, I did not expect this. I was at Toys R Us one day and I was like, I'm bored it's, and I want to buy something and there's nothing to buy. And then I go into the electronics section and what do I find but like Minecraft cars? Okay. So I picked up a couple of them. Look, it's Creeper, but now he's like a hot rod. 
Look, his engine is a TNT block because creepers explode. Isn't that fun? And on the, the back there, there's a. It's hard to see how the camera's going to. Trying to decide what to focus on, but you can see he's got little gunpowder in the back, and it's like a 2D sprite of gunpowder. And where the wheel wells are, those are his like his little creeper claws, and it's just fun. These are like this is like a five bucks or something, though. Maybe a bit much. Of course, Minecraft's of course it's gonna be expensive. And I picked up another one. This is a spider, a spider, but now he is in a uh, kind of Optimus Prime truck kind of form. Lots of wheels. Oh, and at the bottom, there's like a random, once again, a random 2D image. That one's got the record. I'll play a random song. This one's got string. Of course, because he's a spider, and spiders often drop string in the game. And I was looking at this, and like, this one looks pretty cool, but there's something going on with that, with the back of the truck. And what is that? And then I opened it, and I figured out that he actually... Ooh. You know what that is, don't you? Take yourself a random vehicle, not the creeper. The creeper doesn't fit, but like this random. Look at that. It's falling off. This doesn't. The holes don't quite line up. It, you need the very. You need a very specific car length to for it to fit on properly. But uh, yeah, that's kind of fun, right? You drive a car around. I'm thinking maybe if I picked up the skeleton car, then maybe that would. Uh, fit perfectly on there because of the whole skeletons riding the spiders in the game. Who knows? Yeah, fun. Fun stuff. Things I spend my money on. Okay, so it looks like we're at 17 minutes or so. Um, as I mentioned, this hasn't, I haven't recorded one of these in months, if not a year or more, so we can go a bit past 20 minutes. But this is good because um, I've actually got a couple unboxings here. Look what showed up today. Amazon delivery. There's only two things in here, so this won't take too long. First one, I got for a pretty good price. It was like 15 bucks Canadian. And of course it is. PS4 Mega Man Legacy Collection 2. And what I like about this is that it has Mega Man 9 and 10. And these are the ones that were on last gen. Like, I have them on PS3 digitally, but, like, the PS3 just has that gross last gen look to it now. So it's like, ew, I don't want to use a last gen console. I got a PS4. I don't want to use PS3. So now I can play Mega Man 9 and 10 on the PS4. And of course it has a 7 and 8. That was the uh, Super Nintendo and PS1 Mega Man games. And it has all the extra online leaderboards and trophy support and blah, 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 blah. And yeah, 15 bucks. I mean, yeah. Pretty decent price, I think. And because I don't have Amazon Prime, I did need to pay $35 or more. And the only thing I really wanted to add, besides from that, was the main thing I wanted. But I wanted, I had to get something else to get the free shipping. So I went with the Leprechaun <laughs> Pot of Gore collection. Ah, get it? So many puns, which has uh, all six. That's not true. There's seven movies I know. But all six of the original Warwick Davis based Leprechaun movies. And I've seen up to three, maybe four. It's, I think three. And then there's like a. There's two, one, two movies in the ghetto, one in space. And those are the ones I haven't seen yet. So give her a go. Not a lot of pictures to show here, but uh, it's got weight to it. So I think it's just one of those things where they just crammed a bunch of movies into one case. So that's cool. I uh, will definitely look forward to watching those. Eh, 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 it's fine. Okay, and finally, uh, this just arrived today. This box, we're going to go through this real quick. This is from uh, our friends over at Sir Toys. Maybe I'll send this video to them and they'll send me free stuff if I show off their swag. But that's, um, that's a website that if you don't care for packages, like packaging of like... Like knockoff transformers, like this guy, like his box. Yeah, I have just off camera here. This is a very big box. It looks super cool, and I did want the box for this one, but like this takes up a lot of space. You can see how big. Uh, let me just bring him back here. You can see how big the toy is compared to the box. So if you don't want to pay for all of this, just like shipping costs a lot more when you have to pay for a big ass box it is a really cool box this one <laughs> so as I mentioned I definitely wanted to have the box as well but if there are random bots that you don't care about the box for uh, this is one of the sites that you can do you can uh, purchase from and they just throw everything in a box like you just saw it so I've got several bots in here and instead of them being like in several 
big like big boxes and it's just one box and everything just comes in a ziploc bag it's kind of like it's kind of like the thrift bot vibe but uh they're new yeah so let's just check them all out there is gold bug or whatever he is i think is that toy world so as you can see they just it's it's basically like you just bought it at a value village and their prices are pretty good uh, it comes with everything that the box would have. Like if I bought the Megatron from them, it would still have all this stuff. Speaking of which, I have them here. I still haven't taken them out, but here's some of the stuff that, that Megatron comes with. So you get a lot of uh, accessories for that hundred ten dollars, whatever. But anyways, of course, if anyone out there wants to see me do a more detailed uh, video on any of this stuff, by all means, let me know in the comments section. Otherwise, what do we got here? Wei Zhang. Hmm. It's a movie, uh, movie optimist in there. But yeah, you know, it's got the cards, the instructions, and all that. And as I said, like, these KO knockoff, like, they, once upon a time, they would have been the inferior product compared to the store bought stuff. But, like, Power of the Primes, which is the current line, like, I can't find any of it in stores. And. You see people on the internet who order them in from random American sites, but when you're in Canada, that adds up because of the shipping and all this stuff. And you just want to buy it in a store, but you can't because no one has them in stock. And there's this whole big kerfuffle. These, I just went to a site from home, sent money via internet, and boom, here they are. You tell me which one I should be spending my time with. Next baggie. Got some random accessories here. This one's neat. I know a lot of people don't like the uh, the Michael Bay style transformers, but there are some really cool designs. And here's one of them. This is Evasion Mode Optimus Prime from I guess the fourth movie, the one with the Dinobots in it. And uh, he's in evil colors. And I think they made a legit version of this, but this sexy knockoff, like I can feel it already. This is all metal die cast and that's you don't get metal die cast from uh the legit guys they're like here this one's an example i have cosmos here he's a good little cosmos like i bought that from toys r us or whatever but he doesn't have metal in him. he this is like this one's actually in pretty good shape like as far as the color like there's not much to complain about there but i have certainly have figures where they just don't have a lot of see like here once again, off camera, <laughs> here is Voyager Megatron. Like, just, like, like, <laughs> like, this is, this is an adult product. Like, this is, this guy's a killer. Look at that, look at the crazy backpack of, like, that's all the transformation pieces. And then you get, like, this, eh, look at the, look at the stickers. Ugh. It's, it's not bad, but, I mean, I mean, there's a, like, that's a kid's toy. This is, this is an adult product right here. And when, uh, when the KO companies, the knockoff companies, add more paint and die cast metal parts where there was only, like, one color and maybe everything was plastic, like, I mean, mmm, mmm, -hmm. good, good upgrades. Next up, here's another upgrade. This guy is huge. I don't think he was this big originally. I don't know which figure he's based on. I just pulled out of the bag so he's in a funny shape because they... They make sure everything fits in a bag so they can, or in that box, so, you know, compress, save space. So they, sometimes they come in funny uh, transformations. But here's a random star scream. Once again, I can feel that cool, sexy die cast on parts of them. And that's what you want. That's a sturdy ass toy. And he's cheaper than the store stuff. Go figure. So, once again, as you saw, like I'm literally just pulling these out of the box for the first time. So. I'll have to uh, fill around with all these things a bit. And it's funny, they always include these, there's always some like complete garbage free thing. So here's a, yeah, it's just like, yeah, whatever. It's, <laughs> it's just a nice little bonus. So there are sure be five things in the bag. We saw in the box, we saw three so far. Number four is an oversized. Um, Combiner Wars Rodimus Prime or Hot Rod. I don't know which one he is, but he's bigger. Like once again, uh, we can bring a, oops, can bring a Cosmos back, and like this guy would be 
like he's going to be bigger than this. So this KO guy has made a bigger version of an existing toy. So that'll be fun to uh, transform, and I suspect he'll be maybe up to deluxe size, as opposed to these little Legion guys. We shall see. And this guy's a little, same thing, his little axe. No die cast on that one, but that's fine. Like these are, each one of these is like, this guy was, we'll see. It's been a minute now. Uh, six, seven bucks maybe? This is like 10 bucks. This was like 20 bucks or something, you know? 10 bucks again. Like these are great prices. Definitely better prices than what I'm seeing in stores. And finally, the final item of this video. We're almost at half an hour, so everyone, thanks for sticking with us. I hope you enjoy this return of Gamer Hall. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos. Um, okay, this guy's in pieces, so we won't go into detail, but um, it's actually this Chinese line of these. Um, they're like, they look like funny cartoon animals, but they turn into robots, and the parts just pop on and off. It's supposed to look like that. That's the main torso, but here's the rest of them. He's actually a turtle dude. You can see there's this turtle head there. <laughs> just... Like, this would be fun to do a video for. That's the shell, of course. At the moment, he's in pieces, so it's kind of kind of hard to show that off. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, fun stuff. Um, as always, with these gamer halls, I've made a mess. So I'm going to be cleaning that up. And I'm sorry if he's been creeping you out the whole time. <laughs> Good old Warwick Davis. He's still around, you know. He's on Twitter. Uh, these are fun movies. Definitely check them out. But yeah, everyone. Thanks for watching this latest episode of Gamer Hall. We are back 2018. Coming at ya. Uh, yeah. Uh, stay tuned for who knows what next. Uh, we'll hopefully do more hype cast, more toy cast. I was thinking of even starting a new show where I just show off random toys that I picked up. Not like slightly more focused than this, but. Who knows? We'll see. Who knows what happens in the future. But anyways, everyone, thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.